In the last six decades, we've seen the world change tremendously. It's the innovations in technology and entrepreneurship that are bringing about these major changes and lifting millions of people out of the poverty. But at the same time, the same innovation entrepreneurship is widening the gap between haves and have-nots. So I think the innovation entrepreneurship which has created this problem is also the solution to lessen the gap. There are three types of people in this world. There are some people who are oblivious to everything, some people who see a problem and complain about it, and some people who see a problem and get all excited about it. What I've seen is that the only difference between a vibrant community and an impoverished community is the mix of these people. In vibrant communities, everybody is excited about solving a problem. As a result of that, obvious problems don't hang around, they get solved. Whereas in impoverished communities, people try a little bit, problems become chronic, they are not able to solve them, they feel victimized, they feel helpless. And the steady state that we've reached in the world is that the impoverished communities in developed economy or the developing world, people complain and the political leadership revolves around articulating that misery and people just wait around for foundations and the governments to come and solve the problems. It's not a long-term solution. The real long-term solution is enabling people, getting people excited about looking at every problem as an opportunity, which is the way entrepreneur lives. So I hope that more and more people will embrace this concept of entrepreneurship, get excited about identifying themselves with problems that they can solve and make this a better world. What's a better way to live? You know, entrepreneurs have two characteristics. They're very optimistic and, and always believe that the world is going to be better tomorrow than today. If you can live, whether it's true or not, if you can live your life believing that tomorrow is better than today, what, what else is there in life? And so I hope that more and more people in this world will embrace this concept of entrepreneurship and make this a better world.